This is part 9 of the car AI series. As you may have noticed from the last part, the sensors of a car are not working perfect. I noticed that if we are turning the car, the sensors stay at the same position. So they don't really use the rotation of the car. First we're going to fix this because this is kind of a big deal. So the way we're going to change this is first at the top we just say that our sensor starting position is our transform dot position. Then to our sensor start position we add our transform dot forward times our uh, front sensor position dot z. So this will place the sensor at the front of a car. And we also want to place it a little higher, so on the x-axis. And for this we use the sensor start position plus equals our transform dot up times the front sensor position dot y. Then here this stays the same. And now for the right sensor, we remove the X component and then we plus equal this to the transform right times our front side sensor position. Then we copy this line and replace the left sensor, but then we sub subtract it and we do this two times because first we go to the center and then we go to the left. Let's save this and see if it works right now. And it looks like it is working now. Yes, so the sensors are now placed at the right position. I'm sorry for this mistake, I hope it didn't bother you too much. I will test my code a little bit better next time. So let's continue with the rest of the series. So the way we are going to avoid obstacles is to check each ray to determine if there is an object. So for example, if our right sensor sees an object, then we want the car to turn to the left, like this. We do the same for the left side, if we hit something on the left side, then we want to turn the car to the right side. For this, we want to use a variable that adds a multiplier each time something is hit. So if this ray hits something, we add a 0.5 multiplier to the left side. So in this way we can see where the car needs to go. Let's directly dive into the code so you can see how this works. The first thing we're going to do is to check if we hit the terrain or not. Because if we hit the terrain, that's not an obstacle, we don't want to avoid it. So for each sensor we're going to write if our hit dot collider dot compare tag and between the brackets we say terrain then we want to execute this part so let's copy this part here and just overwrite those parts so every sensor has the same check then in Unity, go to your terrain and create a new tag, which is called terrain. Save the new tag, go back to the terrain and don't forget to add it. So that's the first step. Then at the top, we create a new variable, which will be a private bool. And we call this avoiding. We default this as false. So if we hit one or more things, we turn this to true. And then we know that we have to do something different than just the normal steering. Then we go to our sensors function. And also here we add a new variable. And this one will be a float and call this avoid multiplier. And we default this at zero. Then each time we run over this function, we want to set avoiding to be false. Then for each 
Raycast. If we hit something other than terrain, we want to turn this to true because we hit something else than the terrain. So also do this for every function or every if statement. Okay, and now comes the avoid multiplier to use. For each sensor, we add some amount to the avoid multiplier. So if we hit something on the right side, this will be a negative number. And if we hit something on the left side, this will be a positive number. And by this, we can determine if we need to avoid things to the right side or to the left side. We leave our front center sensor for now, and we just go to the right sensor, the front right sensor. So at this part, we say of our avoid multiplier minus equals 0 0.5. And why is this minus or negative? Because we need to turn our wheels to the left side. And the angle of the wheel colliders is set up that this side is positive and this side is negative. So if you want to steer to this side, we we need to have a negative wheel angle. Then instead of just a normal if statement, for the right angle sensor, we write an else if. So if you don't hit something directly at the right side, then we check if we hit something near our car at the right side. Also change the avoid multiply here if we hit something. And instead of 0.5 here, we use just one here and 0.5 over here. So the angle will be 0, 0.5 and the right sensor will be 1. Then for our front left sensor we do the same thing. Only then we plus equal this to 1. And the angle left sensor we also plus equal this and indeed to 0 0.5. Now at the end of all the checks then we want to check if we hit something. If there's an obstacle to avoid. So if we are avoiding something, then we take our steer angle over here and we say that this will be our maximum steer angle times our multiplier, avoid multiplier. Also do the same thing for this one. So if we are avoiding something, we use the left or right side because we have this in the avoid multiplier and then apply that to the maximum steer angle. So for example, if there's something at the left side of a car, the avoid multiplier will be one. So as a result, our maximum steer angle was around 30 times one is 30. So our steer angle will be 30. For this angle sensor, also use the else if instead of just the if. Then one thing we need to do, so if we're avoiding something, we don't have to apply the normal steer. So in this function, we will write if avoiding, then we want to return. Oh, one thing I'm noticing now is we are checking if we are hitting the train and not if we are not hitting the train. So for each compare tag, you write an explanation mark before it, so it will not do it. Because we're only avoiding, because otherwise we're only avoiding if we are hitting the terrain. So save the script and let's check it out. And as you can see, it's going around the obstacles. And if it's not avoiding an obstacle, then it's just following its normal path. So we are now at the point that if we have something at the side of a car, we can steer to the other direction, like this. But what happens if we have an obstacle on both of the sides? Then our multiplier will be 0, because at this side we add 0 0.5, but also at this side we subtract 0 0.5. So the result will be 0 and the car will go straight towards the optical. The way we fix this is by using our center sensor. We use our raycast of the sensor to check the hit point of the obstacle. Then from the hit point we look at the normal of the object, so the face that we are hitting it has a normal and we're going to check if that is at the left side or at the right side of us. And if it's pointing towards the left side of a car, then the best way to avoid this obstacle is turning to the left side. Like this. So let's use this in the script. And let's put this sensor at the bottom. 
because first we want to check the left and the right side and if the result will be zero but we do hit something then we want to check the center sensor so paste that here so let's wrap this sensor into a new if statement and this if statement will let's just do the uh, avoiding multiplier is equal to zero and then we execute this part and then if you hit something then we will check the hit dot normal dot x to see if it's less than zero and if it's and if it's less than zero then our avoid multiplier will be minus one and else our avoid multiplier will be one I've set up some barriers to test our avoidance. So let's hit play and see if it does what it needs to do. We can see that it's trying to avoid all obstacles. Only when it comes to tight corners the car will be stuck. This is probably due to the steering of the car because we set it at hard angles. You can see that it's switching between left and right in a tenth of a second. So if you smooth out this rotation, then it will be fine. But this will be something for the next episode. At least your car can avoid obstacles now. So thanks for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one.